Jude Bellingham has become one of the best midfielders in the world. With him only being 19 years old, he's already worth over 100 million euros and is bound to be the next Galactico at Real Madrid. Before that though, Jude's story is inspiring with him not being interested in football whatsoever to then being a legend at Birmingham City and then becoming the captain of Borussia Dortmund for some time. So how did Jude Bellingham essentially come out of nowhere to become the next big thing in football? Well, let's take a look at the rise of Bellingham's career. Jude Bellingham was born on June 29, 2003 in Storebridge in England. Now Jude was born into a football family. His father Mark was very involved in football with him being a prolific goal scorer in non-league football in England and has apparently scored over 600 goals. Not only that, Jude's younger brother is also a Birmingham City player so clearly football was in the Bellingham genes. However, Jude Bellingham had no interest in football when he was growing up. When his dad used to take him to his non-league games, Jude paid no attention to what's going on on the pitch and instead he picked grass for the entirety of the game. Plus, his mom came out and said that whenever they gave Jude a football, he just threw it back and didn't want to play with it. However, when he was six, football finally clicked for Jude Bellingham and he became obsessed with the sport. Then when he was eight years old playing for his local team Storebridge, he was scouted by someone at Birmingham City and Jude Bellingham signed for their academy at that young age. Now one of his first coaches at Birmingham, Mike Dodds, said that when he first joined he showed good potential but nothing too out of the ordinary. He just seemed like a good footballer with decent potential. However, when Jude Bellingham started playing for the under 10s, he started scoring a lot of goals and that's when the Birmingham staff realized that Jude was special and wanted him to move to the next age group. However, Jude didn't want to leave all of his friends in the under 10s so that's when the Birmingham staff came up with an idea where Jude could play in one half for the U10s and then the U11s for the other half since both of the teams were playing at the same time. When Jude played one half with the under 10s he scored 15 goals. 15 goals in one half? Nah that's mad. After this the Birmingham coaches knew that Jude had no choice but to move up to the under 11s permanently and Jude reluctantly agreed. After a few years everybody around the Birmingham club knew that Jude Bellingham was special so when he was 14 he started to play for the under 18s four years above his age group. Then when he was 15 he got promoted to the under 23s and reunited with former coach Mike Dodds who helped Jude Bellingham improve his game tremendously and gave him a ton of confidence. After great performances with the under 23s, he was ready for first team action despite still being extremely young. During preseason for the 1920 season, Bellingham played in the friendlies and scored goals in them, which convinced the head coach at the time to let him be a mainstay with the squad. Then when the season started, Bellingham became Birmingham City's youngest ever first team player when they played against Portsmouth while he was still only just 16 years and 38 days old. Then on the 31st of August, Bellingham made his home debut for Birmingham in the game against Stoke City, where he replaced Jefferson Montero who came off the pitch injured. Then when the game was tied 1-1, Jude Bellingham scored a late goal in the match, his first for Birmingham, which gave the club three points on the day. And this made Jude Birmingham's youngest ever goal scorer at just 16 years and 63 days old. Then throughout the season, he was making mainly substitute appearances for Birmingham, but he still managed to win the EFL Young Player of the Month award for November 2019. When the winter transfer window came around, Manchester United became aware of the young English prodigy and put in a 20 million pound offer. However, Birmingham apparently refused this and Bellingham continued as a first team regular. Then by the end of the COVID delayed season, Jude Bellingham managed to make 44 appearances and got four goals and two assists. Now obviously these stats aren't that impressive, but if you look at this with the context of him only being 16 years old, these stats are pretty good. Also with these stats, Jude Bellingham was named both Championship Apprentice of the Year and also EFL Young Player of the Season. Then it became obvious that Jude Bellingham was set to leave Birmingham City with him being too talented to stay in the championship. So that's when Birmingham retired his number 22 jersey, where a ton of people clown on that decision by Birmingham including me. But honestly in hindsight, this wasn't even that embarrassing of a gesture. Now the transfer decision for Jude Bellingham came down to between Manchester United and Borussia Dortmund. However, Jude was impressed by Dortmund's record of including young players as regulars in the first team, especially players like Jadon Sancho, who is English as well. So that's when Jude Bellingham decided to join Borussia Dortmund for £25 million, making him the most expensive 17 year old in history. Then against Duisburg in the DFB Pokal Cup, at just 17 years and 77 days old, he scored the second goal in a 5 0 win, becoming the youngest goal scorer in the competition. Then, five days later, when he made his Bundesliga debut, he assisted Reina's opening goal in a 3 0 win over Mönchengladbach, and that helped him later be named the Bundesliga Rookie of the Month for September. Bellingham also made his Champions League debut in the same month, making him the youngest Englishman to start a Champions League match, breaking Phil Foden's record. Throughout the 2021 season, Bellingham was becoming a regular in all competitions for Borussia Dortmund. Then in the first away leg against Man City in the Champions League quarterfinals, he showed that he could be a big game player as he assisted Marco Royce in the match. Then in the second leg, Bellingham scored his first Champions League goal early in the match, but Dortmund still got knocked out by Manchester City at the end of the day. Then against Stuttgart, Jude Bellingham finally got his first goal for Dortmund in the Bundesliga in a 3-2 win. And he also started against RB Leipzig in the Polka Cup Final, where Dortmund won 4-1, helping Bellingham win his first ever trophy as a professional. Tottenham cannot relate, sadly. They just don't win trophies over there. Anyways, overall in the season, Bellingham got 4 goals and 4 assists in 46 games in his first season at Dortmund. Not bad. 
Also, after the 2021 season wrapped up, Bellingham deservedly won the newcomer of the season. Then in the 21-22 campaign, Jude Bellingham improved his stats drastically as he grew more familiar with the Bundesliga and Dortmund because in 44 games, he got 6 goals and 14 assists, which is 12 more goal contributions compared to the season prior. However, despite Jude Bellingham's good form, there wasn't anything too monumental for Dortmund this season. They got knocked out of the Champions League in the group stages and had no chance of winning the Bundesliga that year as well. It just wasn't a good season for Dortmund, but a good season for Bellingham. However, there was some controversy this season for Jude Bellingham though. But real quick before we talk about that, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it and it means a lot, so thank you. Back to the controversy in the clash against Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga, Bayern won the match through a controversial penalty, while Dortmund's two penalty appeals were turned down by referee Felix Weyer, a ref who previously took part in a football match fixing scandal in 2005. Jude Bellingham proceeded to speak about this in an interview after the match, saying, you give a referee that has match fixed before the biggest game in Germany, what do you expect? The German FA were not so happy about this and fined Bellingham 40,000 euros. Now, in my opinion, why did the German FA hire a referee who has match fixed before? Listen, I believe in second chances. We all deserve one. But damn, what did the German FA expect, bro? No pushback? Obviously, Bellingham is going to speak about that incident if there were some controversial calls. Now, although Bellingham was punished, he didn't stop speaking about referees because fast forward to the next season in the Champions League, Chelsea got a controversial penalty and won the game off of that. Bellingham spoke about the incident after the match, but this time he decided to stay more quiet, saying he'd get in trouble if he spoke about it. He pulled a Jose Mourinho. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble in big trouble and I don't want to be in big trouble. Anyways, back to the past, these great performances by Jude Bellingham had Southgate noticing and that's when the England manager called him up for the 2022 World Cup while he was still only 19 years old. Not only that, Bellingham impressed at the World Cup as well, with him getting the opening goal against Iran in England's first World Cup game at the tournament. What a way to get your first international goal for your country. Anyways, this goal for Bellingham made him the second youngest scorer for England at the World Cup. Bellingham just can't stop making history. Also in the round 16 game against Senegal, Bellingham made a brilliant assist to Jordan Henderson as England went on to beat the African side 3-0. And although England disappointed at the World Cup, Bellingham became a key member of the squad as he started every single game for them when he was just only 19, like I said before. Now let's go to the 22-23 season for Jude Bellingham. Overall, he managed to get 14 goals and 7 assists in 42 games, which is an improvement of one goal contribution compared to the season prior. That's not the craziest part though, because in the season, he captained Dortmund several times, showing he had superior leadership capabilities despite his young age. Now going to Dortmund overall, they were ready to make history by finally winning the Bundesliga after Bayern choked Leipzig late on in the season. All Dortmund needed to do was beat Mainz. However, they fumbled the bag, going down by two goals early and only managed to come back and get a drop. All while this happened, Jamal Musiala, an ex-England teammate of Jude Bellingham, got the winner in Bayern Munich's game against Köln, and Bayern went on to win the league on goal difference. This was Jude Bellingham's last chance at winning the Bundesliga with British Dortmund, but Dortmund did what they do best, which is sadly bottling it. Now speaking about Jude Bellingham's plans after Dortmund, it's clear as day that he's going to be leaving them very soon at the time of me recording this. However, a lot of football fans, including me, believe that Jude Bellingham was bound to join Liverpool. However, with Liverpool failing to clinch Champions League football, this means that they have to do a very big rebuild and get a ton of players in. And FSG thinks that it would be a very bad idea spending a lot of the money on Jude Bellingham. So Liverpool have pulled out of the race. Now Real Madrid have taken over and are the clear favorites to sign Jude Bellingham, and in my eyes, it's practically a done deal. It seems that Bellingham is going to be the new Galactico for Madrid, and I don't blame him for making this move, because Real Madrid is one of the most attractive clubs in football, respectfully. Over Overall though, I'm excited to see how Bellingham's future unravels because with him still only being 19, he's got a long successful career ahead of him. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you want to learn more about Marco Asensio, who has surprisingly done well this season, you definitely want to check out this video over here. You won't regret it.